So change is fascinating because there's this huge emotional component to it. Um, I, I mean, I find that there's certain changes in my own life that are very difficult. Um, you know, I want to be healthier. And it's something I've known for a long time and it, you know, for many, many years it was sort of an abstract idea. And, you know, it's only in recent years that I actually started to do anything about it. Uh, when we look at change and why change works and why change doesn't work, it, it is mostly emotional. One of the big challenges for change is hopelessness. We get into trying to change. I'll just stick with health for a minute. You know, and I say, okay, yes, I'm going to exercise. And um, I bore, bought, bought a Nordic track, you know, and it's like, okay, good, I'm going to do this thing. You know, and I go on the Nordic track once and, and a few days go by and I went on the Nordic track again and then it's like, oh, you know, this isn't the solution. This, this doesn't work for me. And I start making up all kinds of excuses not to do it. And then the Nordic track was sitting there in my room, <laughs> you know, for a long time. And every time I looked at it, I felt guilty. And I felt helpless. And I thought, you know, well, I, I'm never going to be able to do this. Uh, I was uh, with a friend who was very fit in his 50s. And he's like super healthy, you know. And at the time, I thought that was a little annoying. And um, he was asking me about this. And we were flying somewhere. And I think we were in Indonesia. And we started talking about it. And, and I said to him, you know, I know that it's possible to make this change. You know, I see... Like, you've done it. Um, I even know what some of the things that I need to do are, but I don't believe that I can do it. I don't believe that it will work for me. I don't believe I can stick with it. That is a feeling of helplessness and hopelessness. What I experienced with that change for myself is I got to a point where I started to, to, to feel some hope. Um, and I started to have this sense that, yes, I, I could do something different. And um, part of it is because I had a, an accident and I couldn't walk for several months. And um, I learned to walk again and I learned I can jog now, you know, and it was like that was a big deal for me. And I realized there were things that were impossible for me. And with some help and with some work, I was able to do them. You know, it was like I, I couldn't put my socks on. Like that, you know, that's the level of helplessness. And now I can. You know, and that doesn't sound like a very big deal. But when you find there's something that's literally impossible for you to do, and then you work on it and you do it, there's an emotional change. And I would describe that as, as hope. Uh, Optimism is a very um, forward-looking skill. It's a skill that's about finding possibilities and finding new ways. And, and hope is an ingredient of optimism. Optimism is how we kind of create a plan for our hope. But we need that feeling. We need to feel that sense of possibility. And when we feel that sense of possibility, we're willing to take the risk to try again.